welcome everyone, it's Andrew from IDB taking a look at the most comprehensive list of everything new in CarPlay coming in iOS 11. That includes new features, UI enhancements, and changes in apps. Starting off with a small one is you now have a little notification banner on the app icons when they show up in that shortcut menu. You notice I have 16 notifications in the phone app and I have a little red dot. There is no number in there purely because it's really, really tiny, but it can show you nonetheless for phone messages, any other application that would have a notification. We also have the bars now instead of the little dots on the lower left hand side. Siri, while the talking screen is still the same, the new thinking screen matches all the other ones with a little spinning circle. While those applications on that top left are not user controlled and purely based off of what was used recently, the top app, when it's in use, will be now larger than the rest, so the current application will be highlighted and larger than the other two and goes back to normal size when you go back to the home screen. Speaking of those new cellular status bars, if you simply hold your finger on those for a second, it'll actually take a screenshot. Really handy instead of having to do it with your phone. Hold for a second, screenshot, and let go. No need to get your phone out and press those buttons, especially while you're driving. Podcast had some changes to its menu and navigation. Instead of unplayed, it now says listen now. Instead of my podcast, it says library. My stations has become just stations. And top charts has become browse. So small changes and really not going to do too much in the app, but they are changes to the menu itself. Podcast had many other changes, especially to the UI, and you can see those on the actual iOS version, not the CarPlay version. If you want to see all of those, of course, we've made a video of that, so just find that on our channel. Music also had some changes to the, not to the top navigation necessarily, but to this now playing screen. On the top left-hand side, you notice it says radio instead of back. It'll let you take you back directly to this, of the section that you were in. And the top right will take you to Up Next, seeing all the other songs that you've added to Up Next. Now to the app that probably got the biggest overhaul, and not probably, definitely got the biggest overhaul, and that is Maps. Maps now has lane guide, as you can see in the top left-hand side. It tells you which lane to be in, and it works really, really well in my time testing it. It also has speed limits for most roads now. You can see in that top right hand corner, we have the speed limit going. There's also better route kind of optimization. You'll notice here, it's taking me to the right, but I can save eight minutes by going to the left. So as I'm driving, it's similar to Waze. So as you're driving, it'll just populate other routes. It'll tell you on the map, here's another way. It's four minutes faster. Here, this one, it's two minutes slower. And you can make those choices as you drive instead of having to pre-choose them before or relying on those alerts that used to pop up in iOS 10. It just simply tells you as you're going. It works really well. I love the speed limit and the lane guidance. Both have been pretty spot on in my testing. I've literally had that speed limit sign change the second I pass a speed limit sign change as I'm driving. Really, really great stuff. Not necessarily CarPlay related, but iOS 11 also brings do not disturb while driving mode to keep your eyes on the road. If you have any other questions or if we miss something, let us know down in the comments below. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.